Okay, team, now let's take a closer look at phonics. And, and we're going to just really quickly just uh, define phonics one more time. Phonics has to do with letter sound correspondence. And we, when we're using phonics to do the decoding process, remember, we're taking those letter symbols or those graphemes and we're matching them up with the sounds or phonemes. Now, it says here letter symbols or graphemes or spelling patterns. You know, I think that it's the easiest way to think about this is uh, a letter pattern or a spelling pattern for a particular sound. That's what a grapheme is. A grapheme is a letter pattern or a spelling pattern that represents one sound. So this right here is the grapheme for the S sound. And this right here is the grapheme for the P sound, the P sound. And, and this right here, this is, the, this is the spelling pattern or grapheme for the O sound in spoon. Same thing, this is the N uh, letter pattern or, or, or letter or grapheme for the N sound. When we use phonics to take letters and turn them into sounds, to, that's called decoding. And this is what happens when a student reads. They, they match up, they take letters and they break it down and decode it into sounds to pronounce a word. We call this decoding. And when they take sounds in oral language and they take those sounds and they spell out a word by matching the sounds or phonemes with the correct spelling patterns, this is called encoding. And these are our foundational ideas. And you got to know this, and I'm just reviewing it one more time because you got to know this stuff on uh, the difference between phonics uh, scenarios involving decoding and phonics scenarios involving encoding, okay? And I want to just review one more thing from a slide that was early in the class, which is very important, is this one right here. When we think about letter-sound relationships and phonics, remember in our previous sections, we did a whole section on phonological and phonemic awareness, and that had to do with sounds, right? All about those sound scenarios. And then we had a section on concepts of print and print awareness, and that was all about print. And we all just write down A, B, C, you know, print and the alphabetical principle. When we're doing phonics, that's the fusion of the two. We're taking um, what we know about the alphabet and what we know about our sounds, and we're doing letter sound correspondence. So we need to have a strong foundation in phon phonologic and phonemic awareness working with sounds, hearing sounds and words. And we also need to have a strong foundation in, in, in the alphabet knowledge, understanding and being able to recognize letters and be able to apply the alphabetical principles so we can take some letter patterns and match them up with their predictable sounds. So these two things are essential to do some basic, basic phonics, all right? If you don't recognize your letters, you're gonna have a real time with decoding. Uh, if you don't know your sounds, you're going to have a real time with decoding and encoding. Both of these are going to be almost impossible without those two prior skills. Okay, so that you see now how what we did in part one and what we did in part two help with part three, phonics. Okay, now let's look at our first case study, and this is going to be a decoding case study. Okay, uh, and it's going to talk about how in the decoding process, it's really important that the student has a strong phonological and phonemic awareness background, okay? So let's take a moment and, and take a look at this question.